Hi, I'm Tim and uh, with Clean Air Vapors and I am here today to show you the live tank. Don't look at the battery. Look at the, <laughs> the tank. It's called the live tank. L-I-T-H-E, the live tank. And it's from E-Vape Zone. Um, the tank is uh, all aluminum housing with a glass tank unit. The unit comes standard with a glass drip tip, a sub-ohm coil pre-installed. But no extras. It doesn't come with anything extra in the box at all. Just the, the tank, the pre-installed coil, and the tip. Just wanted you to know that. Kind of an, it's kind of a noisy tank. It makes a lot of noise as you're like, you know, taking it in. Uh, light tank. It's a bottom filled tank which holds about 2.4 milliliters of liquid. It has a very unique airflow, and um, it, obviously we'll look at it when we get to the bench. But the airflow is it's very tiny. It's like one hole on this side, one hole on that side. Um, it's a very lightweight tank. So uh, let's take the unit to the bench and find out what kind of tank we really have. We'll be right back. Hey, thanks. Hi, and welcome to the bench. Here we're going to talk about the live tank. Now, this has some juice in it. I've been using it for the past couple of weeks. Um, and I really like this tank. <laughs> I just thought this thing just kind of falls out. It's not... It's not uh, built very well, so uh, it it does have a tendency to just fall out a lot. Um, the unit itself it does have a tendency to kind of leak a little bit, so you kind of get it all over your hands. But let let me show you some about it. Um, the airflow system is is here, uh, and it's kind of like a teardrop on the inside with a little oval on the outside portion of it. Um, I'm going to just kind of have to keep wiping it off because it's it's been sitting for a couple of days now. But what happens is it just kind of restricts it down. I'm not sure if you can actually see that or not, but it just kind of restricts it down and opens it up. And all the way open actually is closed. It kind of closes it off. So it's got to be just a little bit beyond that. Now, I do like this button. It's kind of a spring-loaded button to uh, or contact, if you will to make sure that you're getting uh, adequate contact with your battery unit. And then if you take this apart, I'm going to kind of take it apart here and that'll help me out a little bit. Now, some of the issues that I had right off the bat with this particular tank is that it was, it's, um, I do like the hexagonal coil. The hexagonal coil, vertical coil, giant holes in it. It really looks like you could literally put an OCC coil in there, a Kangertech OCC coil. Although you can't, it does not fit, so don't even try. <clears throat> but, uh, it, and this is a 0.5 coil, but the unit, the housing unit itself is made of aluminum. And so the threading is, is very, it, the, the material is very soft. So you have to be very careful because if you don't align this just right, you will strip it out and then you will not have a unit to even use. Um, so, <laughs> I just keep wiping it off. Um, the glass is not replaceable, so you can't just take it apart and put, put new glass on it, as far as I'm aware. I've tried just about everything I can. I think that that's all, like, swedged in there, and it's not threaded in there. Um, I didn't want to break the unit, obviously. But these two fit together, and like I said, you want to make sure they fit together just right. Now, I have used this tank for quite some time. There. There we go. <laughs> oh, I've got to kind of clean up. So I have used it. It's not very fancy. It doesn't have a lot of fanciness to it. It does have like this, this little flat edging portion to the airflow control, which kind of gives you an ability to kind of move it um, instead of just being a smooth ring. But there's the tank. It works pretty well. I love it as a secondary tank. Um, I do love the hit, and I love the way that it works. Hi! <laughs> so, some of the big issues that we see right off the bat are is that the, the whole unit, the whole um, tank itself, the, the housing unit, 
is created from aluminum. And aluminum is a very soft material. So, um, you know, normally we would be thinking, wow, that's pretty cool. You know, it's less apt to heat up because aluminum does displace heat very, very, very well. Um, but that's not necessarily the objective because uh, aluminum is, like I said, a soft material. And so um, if, you, if you don't thread it just right, then you will cut new threads into it or you'll, you'll you know, mess the threads up. And then it's like impossible to get the tank back together. I got like several of these and uh, I, I have yet to mess the threads up, but I'm very, very, very meticulous about making sure that it's exactly correct every time that I do it. Um, so let's just say that um, it's pretty much inevitable for most most people to just, you know, this is a backup tank for me. So um, it's pretty, it's going to be inevitable that eventually I'm going to screw it on wrong and, and then it's going to leak everywhere and I'm going to have problems. Of course, it does leak now, but that's because it's been sitting for four or five days without any use at all. Um, the, the drip pipe has a single O-ring on it. I, I probably should have showed you that when we got um, to the table. But... And, and it's really not that tight to start with. So the dang thing, I, I find this is falling off a lot. And I'm constantly having to, to wipe it off, dry it off, try to get it back in there without making a mess. Um, it, it's just kind of a pain in the butt. It's quite a disappointment to me that that, that is the way that it is. And it falls out quite a bit. So uh, The airflow is pretty noisy, and it's not very open. So it's not like a very... It's not like many other tanks that you see today with giant air flows on it, and you're just going to get as much air as you want. It's it's quite well restrictive, and it's very noisy, as I said. Uh, with sm such a small orifice, it tends to whistle and make Vaporeans, quite like myself, um, wishing that they had put four holes in it instead of just the two that they did. The tank does work well, however. Like I, I use it all the time. I, I especially use it as a backup tank whenever my my first tank runs dry or my battery dies or whatever and I just kind of have this set up on a on a different battery unit and I'm burning at about 30 watts um, and I'm gonna try really desperately to not say um anymore in this video because um is not a word <laughs> I have been using it for a couple of weeks and I do actually like it so let's get that right off the bat not nearly as much as I like other sub tanks though that are in the same vein. I would certainly use this tank as an emergency backup tank. So it's time for the big three questions. Durability. I'm gonna have to give this a solid four. <laughs> oh wait, that's three. Four. Four. I'm gonna have to give it a four because the aluminum threads uh, not replaceable. You can't replace the glass. It certainly makes this tank very disposable feeling, very disposable. And so I think four is being fair, is being more than fair with this particular tank. Innovation, which we had previously called creativity. Uh, we had gotten that from ease of use. We had the ease of use thing. We've changed that. We've since changed that. And now we call it innovation. Does this tank bring anything to the table in design or function or feature that is unique, that is special, that, that really makes it stand out from other tanks in its genre? It does not. So I'm going to have to give this tank a big fat zero. Zero, not one, not two, but zero. The, the tank just doesn't bring anything new to the to the table at all. The taste is pretty much the same as you would get from any other tank. The cloud is pretty much the same as you would get from any other cloud. Zero. Would I put this tank in my store? Depending on the price point for this tank, I might actually consider putting this tank in my stores. It certainly fits into a disposable niche. Mostly the market seems more filled with high-end super tanks, um, totally disposable polycarbonate tanks. There needs to be something kind of right in the middle there. Something that's a little not fully disposable, but not fully super tank either. This would fit 
in that niche. Um, there, there used to be a median marketplace for like MOW and Jenna tanks, but the target is more melded with polycarbs and because of the coil groupings and lack of a true separation of that genre, like we were just talking a second ago, the CE4s, the basic tanks, the totally disposable tanks, the coil units really aren't sub-ohm and they really don't provide a whole lot of, of flavor, a whole lot of vapor. This tank actually does that. It performs as well as a higher end tank. Not the super tank. Not the super tank! Just the better tank. So, um, this, this tank actually seems to fill that void out there and presents a semi sub -ohm tank system that works rather well. So the answer to the question is probably yes. I, I probably, you know, I could see this product on my shelves. And this ends another episode of the Vaporian Fantastics. I am Tim Haid and wish you well. I thank you for watching this episode and, and hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Please subscribe. Um, don't forget, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. Until next time, save a life and spread the word. Vape with pride. And don't be mean, vape clean. That's kind of like my tagline. I'm just going to keep saying that. Don't be mean, vape clean. Uh, you can also find us online. Our website is cleanairvapors.com. Our blog site is cleanairvaporsblog.com. So... Have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, night, morning, whatever it is. Glad to see that you got a new haircut. You look a little sharp there, kind of like me. <laughs> and until next time, thanks for watching. Dang, child-proof lids. How do you get these things off of here anyway? How do you... <laughs> Just remember, childproof lids are not for children. They're for adults. Because children can take these things off in no time flat. And we're the only ones that ever seem to have problems with them. Especially older people like myself. <laughs>